well as a Franciscan monk and also a physician. He then later became a humanist scholar who published translations of Hippocrates and Galen. Books that he had written were banned, but people all over Europe still read his readings. But he was most importantly known as a writer of the French Renaissance period. This is Francois when he was younger. And this is Francois as he became older. Most of the details about Francois's life is very unclear. We know that he was born in the western side of France. There are two cities that he may have been born in, but we don't know which one it might be. The years that he was born in are still argued about today. His family may have consisted of his four brothers and himself and also his mom and his dad. During his childhood, he was sent to a convent. All the stories he heard expanded his imagination, leading him to write in the Gargantua. In his early life, Rabelais temporarily studied law. After he became a priest around 1521, He stopped studying medicine at the University of Montpellier and he became a physician at the Hotel Dieu in 1532. While he was there, he published his comic masterpiece Gargantua and Pantagruel, which contained many humorous novels that mocked the values of the Middle Ages as well as events that happened in his own life. Gargantua and Pantagruel is a story of the father Gargantua and his son Pantagruel that go on many adventures together. They are both giants. As well as writing his masterpiece of Gargantua and Pantagruel, he also invented several words that have become part of the French language that we know today. In addition to all these things, Francois also became a great physician. He then later died on April 9, 1553 in Paris, France. Although his books were constantly getting banned, he wasn't discouraged at all. But instead, he kept on writing his books, and later on in the future, people came to appreciate his books and didn't ban them any longer. They now appreciated his classical sense of humor.